This story isn't about the lies and deception spun, nor is it about the drugs. It's about the power and the strength in lying so much. Without a doubt, a brilliant documentary. This is The Armstrong Lie. This 2013 Alex Gibney documentary tells the story of one of the greatest lies in sporting history. Now whilst this remarkable story has been put into a feature film in 2015's The Program, the far more compelling tale of the cyclist is found in the extensive documentary. The Armstrong lie originally began as the tale of Lance's comeback in 2009, four years after he had retired from competitive cycling and somewhat closed the book on his career. However, over the course of the comeback and the revelations of Armstrong's doping to his confession in 2013, Gibney changes the mood and tone of the film. Lance tried to dominate my film too. Okay. He had lied to me, straight to my face, all throughout 2009. Rolling. When the truth came out, I told him he owed me an explanation on camera. Whether he wanted to try to make things right or whether he still wanted to influence my story. The beautiful lie over the ugly truth. Gibney, who tracked Armstrong even himself at times became engrossed in the fairy tale narrative that was Armstrong's life. A man who was struck down by cancer, who recovers and wins the hardest race in the world seven times. It's the story of fairy tales and that he even admits to being caught up in the idealistic tale. Yet, with good investigative research, we hear the other side of the story, from tenacious journalists such as David Walsh, to victims of Armstrong's reign, such as Betsy Andreu. This is a story so intrinsically complicated and fascinating that it is very hard to believe that it is true. But even in the moments of humility, on the arch villain of the story, we look at him in question, why? In demanding the truth from Lance himself regarding his lies, the documentary turned from a romantic, almost fluff comeback story into a brutal tale of Armstrong's deception and ruthlessness throughout his career. This is not a story about doping. It is a story about power. The documentary proficiently details Armstrong's character and removes the cancer survivor cloak out from under him to display his brutality, his abusive power, his dramatic destruction of anyone who got in his way. Almost like a tyrannical Shakespearean character, Armstrong's megalomaniac characteristics show on keeping up the facade of the superhero-like status. Though we see what Livestrong, Armstrong's cancer charity, has done and contributed we cannot look past the fraudulent steps made to build his empire. In closing, The Armstrong Lie is a tale of power, of deception, of systematic doping, and of an unbelievable character. It is a film hard to believe, but oh so real, in one of the greatest sporting lies of all time. A true villain of sport and of modern culture here. Please remember to like, comment, share and subscribe and check out the episodes to come. I'm Riley Sugars, and this has been Modern Masterpieces.